Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another episode of our car reviews with your guy Charles. You know, uh, today we have brought here a special episode. In this special episode, we are doing a comparison between a uh, Toyota Fielder and then uh, the Toyota Romeo. I've uh, got, uh, you know, uh, you have been asking me about these questions. So, whoever have been asking about the Toyota Romeo and Toyota Fielder, which is better, which one does this and which one does the other one, just stay tuned on, on this review, you'll get your answer. So, well guys, uh, before we go on, uh, let me give you some time to just hit that uh, subscription button down there. You, you can give us a like and you can as well comment on any car you want. If you need a vehicle, if you need to buy any car in, uh, in Uganda, Kampala market. Uh, let me as well give you the prices of uh, both vehicles, both cars. Uh, Toyota Rumion goes at uh, 30, in the range of uh, 33 to 35 million now. And uh, the price of a uh, filler is at 35 to like 40 million now in Uganda. Just hit that uh, subscription button down there. You, you can give us a like and you can as well comment on any car you want. If you need a vehicle, if you need to buy any car in, uh, in Uganda, Kampala market, just don't hesitate to get our numbers down there. We have uh, all the vehicles available in the Ugandan market. And uh, as well, as I always promise you that uh, if you get a car from Bear Motors Uganda, we uh, we give you the best price and you know, give us on credit and all those things. So, well, guys, uh, uh, as I told you, we are doing a comparison between uh, Toyota Fielder and Rumion. Let's begin with a uh, let's uh, begin with the Toyota Rumion, and then later on we also take it through the Toyota Fielder, and uh, you guys will judge which one does this and which one is the best. With the Toyota Rumion, if uh, we just roll the camera on the body, we see the uh, you know the entire body uh, how uh, the shape looks. Oh, uh, that's the front. Then uh, we'll see the the side look of it. As well, we also go, we're going to see the you know the ground clearance. Everyone buys a car here in Uganda according to the you know the ground ground clearance and the performance. You know we all buy uh, vehicles for purpose, and uh, the practicalities also matters. If I talk about the practicalities, I talk about the boot, and you know the you know the space, the sitting capacity, you know you know the leg room and. Uh, uh you know this is uh the, the toyota romeon this is how it looks and uh let me also show you the toyota field uh, how it looks the exterior um that's how the the toyota field looks like like the exterior of the toyota field that's how it looks oh uh, that's the front uh, if you move aside, you know this. That's that's how the back side of uh, Toyota Fender looks. That's the light and the design. Uh, as well, if let me just also show you the how the you know the back of the room looks like. Uh, if we put this car, these vehicles together, Toyota Romeon and uh, and uh, and, uh, and Fender. I think you have seen oh you have seen both vehicles like the shape of how, how they look behind the front and the side. Um if you talk about the ground clearance, they both have the same uh ground clearance. Guys, you know hit the hit that uh, subscription button as we continue with uh you know this comparison. Uh let's talk about you know the length of the, the two vehicles. The the length of uh, both uh Romeon and the Toyota Fielder. The length of Romeon, uh, Romeon is at, uh, the overall length of Romeon is at uh, uh, 13, 13 feet and uh, you know 10 inches. That's the overall uh, length of uh, Toyota Romeon. And uh, the overall length of uh, Toyota Fielder is at, uh, you know, 14, 
are 14 feet and 4 inches. So you find that uh, Toyota, uh, Toyota Fielder wins on the length, you know, on the uh, on the le length competition. The other one is, uh, I would say, is uh, longer than the size of it is longer than uh, the size of uh, Romeo. So on the length co length competition, Toyota Fielder wins. Um, exterior. Another thing is, uh, let's see, you know, the, the width of uh, the both vehicle, the width of uh, Toyota. Uh, Romeon and the width of uh, Toyota Fielder. The, the Toyota, Toyota Romeon has the, the width of uh, it has uh, the width of uh, five five feet and uh, you know ten inches. That's the width of uh, Toyota Romeon. And uh, the Toyota Fielder has the the width of uh, four feet and eight inches. So on the width competition. I think uh, Toyota Romeo wins the with it competition. Uh, another thing is, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's see the, you know, the, the overall way, uh, height of uh, the both vehicles. The Toyota, to Toyota Romeo has an uh, overall uh, height of uh, five, five, feet and, 5 feet and 6 inches, while the overall height of uh, Toyota Fielder is at is at uh, four four feet and eight inches. Again, Toyota Romeo wins the you know the competition of the height. The height competition still goes to, uh, you know goes to the Toyota Romeo. Then uh, let's talk about you know the wheelbase. Uh the wheelbase is uh, you know they have the same wheelbase. The one thing I did tell you that uh, you know the line of uh, pro production of uh, both vehicle, they are they are under Corolla, uh, Corolla Corolla versions of Toyota. So the wheel the wheelbase is the same. They all have uh, the same wheelbase of uh, five, uh, eight eight feet eight, eight feet and seven inches. Both uh, the Toyota Romeo and uh, the Toyota Fielder. So well, guys, uh, let me take you to the interior. We see how the interior look of uh, both vehicles, but as we are heading there, please hit the subscription button. This is uh, this is the interior of uh, Toyota Romeon with uh, you know it has a it has a very good uh, sitting. You know the leg rooms are, are good, and uh, the seats are also are also lifted up well, and. Uh, it has a, you know, this one has, it has a five C, it's a five seater. Uh, the interior is straight as usual. The dashboard, that's how the dashboard of our Toyota Rumion looks like. The steering. Uh, this is, a, you know, the gear, you know, the gear shift of our Toyota Rumion. And uh, these are the AC knobs of it. Uh, generally this is how the 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 front you know that you know the driver's cabin looks generally that's how it looks oh uh, with the this one has a very good uh, you know music system Toyota Romeon one of the things I like more on uh, this uh, Toyota Romeon is uh, it's a music system it has a uh, you know the I will, say, I will tell you that uh, the driver's leg room is also good. Uh, however much you know I'm uh, I'm a bit tall, but still I can feel that uh, the seats are much comfortable. Ah, uh, let's uh, let's see the the second row seats and uh, we we'll also see. Yeah, this is the second row seats of uh, this uh, Toyota Romeo, and still the second row seats looks good. Uh, beside also the, the the you know the the leg room the leg room also behind the second uh, you know the the, 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 the the second row of the seats leg rooms are also good and uh, let's see the you know the let's see the the practicalities I will say that the boot. You know the battle is in between the boot, the boot size of uh, 
Kilda and the good size of uh, of uh, Romeon. So uh, let, let's begin with if you throw the seeds of uh, the, the Romeon, you get the flat boot. But uh, okay, we'll, let's first see, see the, the one over. Uh, we we'll also see the one over uh, Fielder. Then we we'll see which one, which 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 one is uh, much bigger than the other. So this is how the the boot. If you throw the seeds like the behind seeds, looks like uh, again. If you lift the seeds, this is what you remain with. You find that uh, they are not that. Uh, they are, it's not a. Uh, it's not. A, it's not that big. Though the, the car itself, like the body looks to be big, but uh, the boot is not that big. Parimotos, Uganda. Oh well. Uh, you know, this is the Toyota, the Toyota Felder. Um, as I told you, we are comparing the, you know, the Toyota Felder and Toyota Rubio. And uh, we have just seen the, you know, the interior of the Toyota Rubio. As well, we also saw the, you know, the practicalities, we saw the boat size of the uh, Toyota Romeo. So this is, uh, you know, the interior of uh, the Toyota Fielder. As uh, I told you, you know, uh, this, uh, I've, uh, you know, I've got uh, like many requests from you guys asking me about, uh, you know, which guy is better among the Toyota Fielder and Toyota Romeo. But uh, I will tell you that, uh, uh, you know, I will, I, will, I will leave some things for you to, for you guys to judge as well. My duty is only to show you both cars and you judge which one is better. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, the, the front look of... Uh, with a steering, it has a, uh, you know... I will say it has a simple gear shifter with a much better look of uh, you know much better design on uh, you know the dash. I will say the dashboard of uh, this uh, field that looks a bit mature than the one uh, than the one on uh, Toyota Rumion. The dash of uh, Toyota field that looks a bit mature than the one on Rumion, and uh, the seats as well. The seat design of a uh, Toyota field that still looks a bit mature. Than the ones of uh, Toyota Romeo. Remember on our last review, I told you that uh, the Toyota Fielder was the number one sold cars in the year 2022. And uh, I'll tell you that even in this year 2023, Toyota Fielder will be among those cars which will sell still in the market of Uganda. Toyota Fielder, you know, sold more in that uh, year 2022. Reason being, uh, if you know, if you see the, you know, the real design of uh, the Toyota Fielder, how the how the seats are, you know. Plus, uh, if you go to the the performance, like you know the the, the ground clearance, however much the Toyota Romeo looks to be high, but uh, in actual sense, this one has a better ground clearance than the, the Toyota Romeo. Um, I told you, you know that the, the this is how the you know the driver seats look. And uh, this is how the, 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 the rear seats look. And it also has a very good uh, leg room behind. You know, the, the best thing in this car is, uh, is the boot. This car is a, this car is a very good uh, boot. Mainly if you throw the seats, there's a way that how the seats uh, goes flat. And you get a very good, and you know, the bigger boot. The, the boot of uh, the field is bigger than the, the one, uh, the one of uh, Romeoon. Ah well, viewers, I think uh, you have uh, you have all seen the the interior of uh, Toyota Rumion, and you have also seen the the interior of uh, Toyota Fielder. So just down uh, in the comment section, just write, uh, just uh, state for us which one is better for you. Ah, uh, but according to my observation. According to myself, I think the interior of uh, Fielder still wins over the other uh, over the interior of uh, Toyota Romeo. Well, uh, hit the, the, the subscription uh, just down there. We have uh, we are done with the interior and uh, as well exterior. We have seen the boot of uh, the both vehicles. Um, for the boot still, uh, the Fielder I think Fielder wins over that large boot. Uh, let's go to the, you know, to the wheel, to the, to, to, to the brown clearance and the rims. 
you know, uh, both vehicles wear the same rim. They both wear the same rim or, or rim that uh, size uh, size 15. Uh, you find uh, the same rim on uh, Romeo and uh, it's the same rim you find on uh, on a field. Uh. Then uh, let's go to the engine. You know the real reason why, uh, why you know the real battle is on uh, the engine. I'll tell you that uh, both vehicles have, uh, you know, they have a one NZ. It's a, a four-cylinder inline engine type. Uh, it's the same. It's the same engine. You, it's the same engine on a, you, you can get on a filter. But uh, what I'll tell you that this the the reason why uh, you know there's a way that the performance of a Toyota filter uh, is much better than uh, the Toyota Rumion, yet they have the same engine capacity. Oh uh, well. Um, you know, uh, if you think if you think of buying a a Rumion, Rumion is much better with the engine of um, 1.8 cc, not with uh, this 1.5 cc, because of uh, it's a bigger body. Uh, it's much stable if you drive it on a 1.8 cc with that engine of a dual VTI uh, two sedan. But not with uh, the, the the one NZ uh, two point uh, I mean one point uh, five cc. If you get a Romeo with a uh, one uh, with a two ZR two VVTI, that a uh, one point uh, eight cc. That one has a very you know the performance is marvelous and uh, she has a very good you know the, the speed and so on. Yeah, but uh, still. You know the the performance on of uh, 1.5 is not uh, also bad. It's still also it's still it's still good as well. Like if I'm considering to buy a, a car with a one NZ engine, and you put uh, both vehicles, for myself I still go with a Toyota Fiona because of uh, you know the the way they are lined. That uh, engine of a uh, uh, filler, that uh, one NZ, uh, one NZ engine, the way they are, they, they mounted it, and uh, all you know. Uh, if we talk about also the you know the performance on roads, um, the one NZ engine on a Toyota filler still is is much perfect on road than uh, the one NZ engine on a Toyota Romeo. So for the engine. If you're considering buying a, a, a 1.5 cc, still the Toyota Fielder will, will be better for you. And uh, you know, if you're also considering uh, that I told you that the bigger, the, that larger boot, still the Toyota Fielder was much better. And that's, uh, you know, that's the reason why Toyota Fielder has really dominated uh, the market. And uh, it's still dominating the market. And uh, we'll still witness uh, the Toyota Fielder for more years to come. Yeah, so well guys, you know I told you we were comparing the Toyota Rumion and Toyota Fielder. I told you both cars are from uh, you know a Corolla version. Uh, Toyota's you know famous Corolla. We have witnessed you know the Corolla lineage, you know the vehicles are from uh, Corolla, you know production from the Toyota Fielder. We have seen a uh, Corolla. Romeo, Spasho, Alex, the Ranex, and now we are seeing the, you know, the Exios, and they also, you know, they 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 they, they do that, uh, you know, perfect uh, on road and and uh, with the Corolla vehicles, they have that, uh, you know, say, uh, like uh, you know, the, uh, if you talk about you know the mechanic mechanical parts are available mostly here in uh, Uganda. So well, guys, uh, you can uh, you can choose what's best for you just under there. Um, just stay tuned to the channel. We will be bringing you the, the this this kind of uh, videos. We are also going to bring you another another episode just uh, in a short period of time. As I told you that uh, this year 2023 will be a year of uh, year of work, and uh, 
I brought you the you know the the best cars I'm I are we are expecting to you know to dominate the market in this year 2023 and the cars we have uh, uh done the comparison. Uh well guys uh another thing I'll tell you to follow us on all the social media platforms. You can as well get our number just straight down there if you're in need of any vehicle like this one. That's just enough for today from the guys and the entire team. Goodbye and uh, be blessed. And please don't forget to subscribe if you have not. I will appreciate uh, all the guys who have uh, subscribed. I will appreciate all the guys who have uh, you know, been following us and liking all the videos we have been posting for you guys. From the guys and the entire team, goodbye and be blessed. Mm -hmm.